Production Studio Moore presents a series of podcasts The Evolution of Media Fighting Fake News and Hate Speech In three episodes Our credentials to Nina Lubinarskaya, Irina Kabelian and Halina Berzenko Podcast is produced for the program of European Academy Berlin Challenge 1918 2018-2118 Read by Halina Berezenko Part 1 The Evolution of Media The War to End It All The, ch the Change to Make the Difference Just imagine How would you start your usual day Were you to appear in 1918. Where would you get the news? It's post-war Europe, I remind, I remind you. Fifteen million people have died by now. Of course, you don't want to think about that. You have survived it all, though your father was heavily wounded, and he doesn't want to talk about it. Lots of buildings were destroyed. Many of your friends and your family's friends have died. But there's still hope. The authorities have established peace. And you want just to get the news with your morning coffee. So, where would you get it? Perhaps you'll go out and buy a newspaper. Or a boy would bring it to your porch. That's so comforting. Like their pre-war life is returning. But it doesn't. There are so many changes to come, though you don't want to think about them. Your morning newspaper. What else can be more comforting and more trustworthy? And you'll believe each word in it. What? They say that a radio is developing. It might get into every house. Hmm, what a strange idea to have a voice talking in your house that it's not yours and none of your family members. Can it be a hoax? You do remember that once the journalist told about the ducks that can eat other ducks, or when they have reported on the ruining of the Great Wall of China. But later on you buy yourself a radio set. Oh, getting the news becomes easier. Now you don't have to buy a newspaper each day. But of course you do, because you're just used to it. And listening to the news will never replace reading it. That's the point. But there are, of course, some benefits. You can listen to music also, to some new one that you don't have on your vinyl records. But there are also problems with the radio. When there's a storm, you can't catch a signal properly. And sometimes it gets very weird, like that radio show when, when they warned about Martians, real Martians conquering the Earth. And then it was just a hoax. Well, you do know for now that all those stories were made up. But how could it be? How could you believe it once more? <clears throat> well, 
It seems like it's time to get rid of listening to the radio. But there is the news and music and that new talk show where people talk about very clever things and radio dramas. Oh, radio dramas, you like them. How can you give it up? What? The new war is coming. But how can it be? Really? We were living so peacefully at last. Can't they do anything about it? No. No. But there goes the life. And you hide from bombshells with your radio set. And you hate the soldiers from the conquering side because they are not people after all they have done. And then you meet one, completely exhausted, skinny and terrified. All that he wants is some food and shelter. And there you go again. The war has ended. You've heard it on the radio and you've told it to your entire neighborhood. Just because you still own your radio set and they still read newspapers. Later on, you suddenly become aware that there's something new coming. There's a real possibility that people can watch the news not just listen to it. Oh, that's weird. All those pictures will distract people from listening and actually hearing the news. What are they thinking about? And there comes the day. So you go and buy a TV set just to see the Queen's coronation. Oh, Her Majesty is the first ever Queen to go live with her coronation. Oh, of course, the TV set is very heavy and the screen is tiny, but there's a moving picture in it. A real moving picture of living people. That's just a miracle. You can see other people as if they were a part of your life. Oh, of course, there can be no hoaxes on TV. How can one fake the things you see? But there are still so many bad people all over the world. Starting new wars. And you have the only desire to fight them all. Just to establish peace all over the planet. But in fact... Where are they, all those people? Far, far away. No one in your neighborhood wants a new war anyway. They've had it all. They want to believe in better future. To be continued. <laughs>